In tonight's Music City Beat, Nashville's War Memorial Auditorium is celebrating 88 years. And to celebrate, a portion of the building has been renovated. But as I discovered during a private tour, the facelift is about much more than looks. So many of us walk through these streets every day and they, we, don't, we don't realize where we're walking or what once took place here. Most people see War Memorial as just another place in Nashville to have an event. But did you know why it was built? But it was built to honor the 3,400 Tennesseans who lost their lives in World War One? First opened as a convention center, War Memorial was also where the Nashville Symphony was held for 55 years and was even once the home of the Grand Ole Opry. The Opry family welcomed Minnie Pearl, Bill Monroe, and Ernest Tubb while it was here, so not too shabby. Many historic moments have happened within these walls. Liberace performed here multiple times history that needed to be on display. And we've really worked hard with a lot of the local archives in town that have been so wonderful to us and have gotten our history and put it on the walls. From the green room to dressing and holding rooms, each now has a focus. Theming the rooms to the periods of our history has, has been a, a, a big part of telling our story. Artists have already taken notice of the changes. Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton filmed their new music video here. But since the rooms are backstage, patrons may not see the extensive remodel. However, they will hear a difference. We have the greatest opportunity now than we've ever had before in our 88 years of history uh, of presenting the, the purest sound you know, experience here. A top-of-the-line sound system has been installed, important because War Memorial hosts a wide variety of shows. Just next month, they have rapper Lupe Fiasco, the metal band Asking Alexandria, and EDM DJ's Cruella. Artists that will now understand just how valuable the venue that they are playing in really is. It's, it's important for us, for them to know the history, know the history of the facility, know the history of the city, so that when they step out on stage, they can make those meaningful comments about how proud they are to play this very historic hall, where before it was just another venue that had you know, a leaky toilet. Now here's another fun fact about the remodel. They added a bathroom to the star room and the first person to use it was Kristen Chenoweth. So what did they do? They named the shower after her. To hear more about that and see pictures, just visit my blog, which is on our webpage, fox17.com. <laughs>